that old portfolio model of the mix of stocks, bond, and cash is morphing at hyperspeed for the wealthier investors out there. The rich are now adding alternative investment assets such as private equity, hedge funds, oil and gas, timber, family trusts to their portfolios. You could throw venture capital in there as well. There are all kinds of things when you look at this, leverage buyout, stuff that you normally might not have heard before. Well, the wealthy are now doing this. But now new legislation in Kansas aims to make the state a key financing hub for the global $8.8 trillion alternative asset industry. With the help of the CEO of Beneficent Group, Kansas native Brad Hepner, is running this fintech that helps the wealthy crack those alternative nest eggs for speedy cash. Brad, welcome to the show. Uh, alternative assets obviously are growing in popularity, gaining mass adoption, but what isn't so popular is how in many cases the money in alternative investments is very tough to quickly convert to cash if you need to. And if we've learned anything from the pandemic, people sometimes need quick cash. Tell me what you're doing and why this is an opportunity and an option that people should be looking at. Liz, thank you for having me on the countdown. Uh, the, the liquidity issue for alternative assets is a critical issue for high net worth indiv individuals and for smaller institutions. The need for liquidity uh, in this $8.8 .8 trillion industry is growing, as you just said. And so providing that liquidity takes specialized trusts and it takes companies that are regulated, regulated like trust banks. That's what Beneficent is. Now, Beneficent developed is a financial technology company that developed an online experience for alternative asset investors, like high net worth investors, to gain liquidity out of their alternative asset by working directly with Beneficent online. We provide the liquidity from our balance sheet, acting as principals as opposed to an intermediary, a broker, or an investment fund. I, I want to tell you something you may not know. Um, our show, The Claim and Countdown, has the highest, um, when, when you're looking at affluent viewers in cable TV, we're actually clocked in as the highest via Nielsen ratings. So you're talking to a very aspirational and growing wealthy audience here. But when you say high net worth, what are you talking about? What's the, what are the parameters here? High net worth individuals right now, it's about a million households in the United States worth over $5 million. But alternative assets are starting to be structured mm -hmm. in a fashion that accredited investors can invest as well. That's another eight to nine million households or 10 million households overall. Wow. When you make an alternative asset investment, you're committing to a long-term investment, longer term than what you hold in your portfolio. It can be as long as seven to 12 years long. Many individuals have needs within the fifth or six years to gain liquidity out of those yeah. assets. They want they want to reassess right. their estate plan. That's what we're seeing right now with the new federal tax legislation that's being proposed. Many individuals are repositioning their investment portfolios and they want to pull some liquidity out of the alternative assets and redeploy that in a more tax efficient manner. And so you advance them the cash and that way they can exchange their said asset for the cash immediately and, uh, you know, how do you, can you adjust for what it would have accrued, what this asset would have accrued? The transactions that we complete are what we call non-recourse back to the investor. So we, the options that they have to choose from allow them the, uh, the confidence that the transaction they're doing is not going to adjust on them in the future. Beneficent assumes that risk. Exchange of ownership, you know, for a borrower to borrow a million bucks from Beneficent, what dollar value of an alternative investment would they have to have? It depends on the quality of the asset. The dollar value uh, varies based on the age of the asset, the quality of the asset, the sector okay. that the asset is invested in. Now, individual investors represent about 20 percent of the $5.6 trillion held by U.S. investors. The $8.8 .8 trillion number is a global number. Kansas recognized this. Kansas recognized that there's $140 billion a year of demand for liquidity out of these alternative assets. $100 billion of that is from very wow. large institutions. $40 billion is unaddressed okay. demand. Individuals cannot get liquidity out of their assets because there are not um, vehicles or 
places they can go to gain it. That is what Kansas exactly. recognized when they passed a new legislation making an asset-friendly jurisdiction to establish trusts and the trust banks that manage those trusts to be able to provide liquidity and manage the assets and custody those assets within Kansas. Well, good for Kansas. You know, you, you got to open it up to new opportunities. Beneficent is right there. People should check out the platform. And, and for short, it's called Ben. I like that. Brad Hapner, thank you so much. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Thank we you very much. It. Thank you. Uh -huh. Anytime. What